Okay, thank you all for coming today. Um, I know many people have never really been in the Aston studio, but I've actually spent a lot of time here you know, during my Milliken career. It's a place that's comfortable for me, and it's a place where a lot of my creativity stemmed from. So I wanted to um, have my presentation here because my project is actually a creative project. And so a little background on me, I'm a senior communications uh, student with a um, focus in media studies and basically after graduation I'm moving out to LA to work as a producer in the film and uh, TV industry. And that kind of leads me into why I chose this project and you know what I did for this project. So for my project I wanted to do something creative um, in which I could practice and improve my skills as a producer since that is what I will be doing in my professional career. And just to preface um, this, Binge Worthy Radio. Binge Worthy Radio is my radio show that I've produced for the last two years um, through WJMU every week. And so it's a show where I recommend different films and TV shows to watch on various streaming services. And so for this project, I decided I wanted to take my producing responsibilities up a level and turn my radio show um, into a video podcast. So throughout the semester, I have been making Binge Worthy Radio into like a series of episodes that you can watch on YouTube. Um, so like I said, Binge Worthy Radio is my project, turning it into a video podcast, um, and then Basically, I write, produce, film, and edit um, an hour-long episode to post on YouTube um, every week or so. So first I'm going to talk about my project goals, you know, what I wanted to do with this project. And first off, my first goal was to combine my passion of radio, film, and videography. They are the three creative fields that have been the focus of my education here at Milliken. And by doing this, I was kind of creating something that future employers can easily look up and it covers all the areas of the fields you know, I've worked in over the past four years. Plus, it was a really fun challenge to try and find a way to incorporate all three of these things into one project. So my next goal is to practice all of the skills I have learned over you know the last couple years and knowing that I'm graduating this year I really wanted to have knowledge of all aspects of the film and TV industry and knowing what each area does and what the jobs within each area how to do them is really essential in you know becoming a good producer and just overall good employee in the film and TV industry and then my biggest goal and probably my most difficult difficult goal was to learn how to edit. Um, I've done a lot of jobs through Milliken and outside of school in the pre-production and production areas of you know the film and TV industry, but I don't usually do anything in the post-production um, field. And that's because I'm very impatient and get very angry with technology very easily. <laughs> Um, but I knew that I wanted that skill uh, after graduation. You know, many people can schedule and organize like a producer can, but editing is a talent and it's very hard to do well. And I knew that if I learned how to do that and I had skills in post-production, then, you know, that would make me stand out as an applicant. And then finally, I just wanted something to show off that was completely mine. So, you know, I... I write it, I produce it, I film it, I edit it. Every aspect of this show, it's, it's completely my project. It's my product. So when I send it out to employers, they can see all the different you know, skills that I have and all the work that I've put into it. So for the rest of the presentation, I'm going to kind of go through the steps that I take every week to make binge-worthy binge radio um, the video podcast you know, this past semester. So first there's the pre-production stage. This is where most of my responsibilities fall, especially uh, someone who wants to be a producer. A lot of 
your responsibilities fall in the pre-production stage of a film or TV show. And so every week I start by picking a TV show or a film to watch and analyze. So I kind of have some rules, the titles, they have to be on a streaming service for free. Um, they have to be relatively new and they can't be like a big blockbuster film. Basically, there's no point in reviewing Avengers Endgame because most of the population has seen that film. And I want to use Binge Worthy Radio to uh, bring attention to films and TV shows that maybe don't get the attention that it deserves. And kind of just like hidden gems that maybe people don't realize are on their st different streaming services. So as I watch the title that I pick, um, I take notes of you know the aspects that I want to talk about during binge the radio during that week. And then even though this is a creative project, I actually do a lot of research for this. So I do research on just the film itself, who the director is, the creators, the actors. I look into previous works that the actors have done so that, you know, when I say, oh, this actor was also in this movie, people can be like, oh yeah, I saw that movie. I like that person. Maybe I'll give this a try. And then kind of just like the main themes of the film and everything that went into, you know, making that film or TV show that I chose. So for reference, here's kind of what like my notes look like when I, um, you know, type up everything for my show. So, like I said, it's, it's a creative project, but, you know, a lot of research actually goes into all of this. Um, and then finally, I find a playlist of the score and the trailer so that listeners and viewers can, you know, listen into the music of the title I choose and also get, like, a little glimpse of the film or TV show I picked so that, you know, they get more of a feel for what I'm talking about because another thing about Binge Worthy Radio is that I don't give out spoilers. It's all review based. It's basically facts and, um, you know, about filmmaking and my own personal opinion because I am a film lover and, you know, I have, I would say, like a pretty good knowledge of film, so I, I share that with my viewers, but I don't spoil anything. So having a trailer and a score can really help, you know, persuade someone into um, watching what it is that I chose that week. So now on to the production aspect. So the production aspect was actually probably the easiest part of this whole project, just because it's in one small area um, and it's an easy setup. So, my co-host and I would set up um, two cameras, and I don't know if you can really see, but we have one in the center right here, and then one off to the side over here, and then we both sit here. So you have one in front and then one off to the side. And having two cameras is actually very important, and it's just important for the overall feel of the video and for editing purposes. So when you're watching something, having different angles is super important because it keeps the audience engaged. And you know, when I'm editing, I can cut to the different angles. So if I'm talking and then I change ideas or a thought, I can cut to that other angle and then that keeps the viewer's eyes you know, attracted to the screen. Um, and it just keeps the video fun and fresh. So I'll play a little example of it from the first video that I ever put out. Cuts in that you know 30 little second clip, 
and it just keeps the audience, you know, engaged with the video because it's you're not just staring at the same thing for an hour long. Um, and then basically, the uh, the only other production thing is that I have to plug you know my computer into the uh, aux cord in the studio um, so that I can play music through it. And then also I use the soundboard at WJMU, and that's kind of where all my radio skills come in, is, you know, changing mics and fading music in and out. And then next, we have post-production, so probably the most challenging aspect of this project. Um, so after everything has been recorded, I sit down to edit. And this was probably the hardest part for me because I basically had to learn how to edit from scratch. Thankfully, my co-host for Binge Worthy Radio is a very good editor, and he was a very good teacher for me. So when I would get frustrated and I ran into problems, um, he could help me out and kind of, you know, teach me to be a good editor. And I also don't think people realize just how long editing takes, um, especially for a video like this that's an hour long. It, it takes a while, um, and editing is where I put in most of the hours for this project. At the beginning, it was really frustrating because it would take me over a week to edit this, and I wanted my videos to, you know, come out weekly. I wanted it to be like a weekly series, but then I kind of realized that, well, do I want quantity or do I want quality? And I wanted quality because I want a professional video that I can send out, um, you know, basically for my resume to employers. So I decided that, you know, I needed to take my time and do a good job of it, so that's exactly what I did. I gave myself more time. Even though I didn't get to put out as many videos as I wanted to, the videos that I did put out were really good and, you know, done in a very professional manner. Um, and so, once I, did it, once I did that and started giving myself some more time, I kind of got the hang of editing, and then I was able to edit at a faster rate. I also had to insert photos, like I said, of, you know, like, directors and actors that I talk about into the video as well. And so, when someone's watching and I talk about an actor, up pops a picture of their face, which helps the viewers because, you know, some people aren't really good at, you know, names and faces and whatnot. So, when a picture pops up, they can be like, hey, like, I didn't know this person was from this film or whatnot. And you know, it's just another way of engaging with my viewers. I actually learned so much from editing this um, project that I edited a 10 minute short film that actually got submitted into a film festival. And it took me about a week, six to eight hours each. Um, but after that was done, I kind of knew that I had achieved that goal that I set for myself with this project, and that was to you know become proficient in in editing and in post production. So then, when I'm done, I get you know an outcome like the clip I just showed you, that video, a whole hour of that. So then, in conclusion, I really enjoyed making this project. It was honestly a passion project for me, so it was, you know, a lot of hard work and a lot of hours, but it was also really fun. And I'm actually currently editing the very last episode um, of Binge Worthy Radio in this series, and, you know, while my co-host and I were filming this last episode, we were kind of sad, honestly, because, you know, Binge Worthy Radio has been my baby for the past two years. It's been, like, my project that I've, you know, created and, um, put out into the world. And so, you know, it just started two years ago as me sitting up in the WJMU studio, basically rambling to myself into the void, probably no one even listening, um, to now a, you know, professional series that you can go on and watch on YouTube. So it was just really cool to see, you know, the full circle that I've come from two years ago to now this. And, you know, in the end, I'm very lucky that Millikan and the Honors Program has given me the environment to use my creativity and to be a part of something I'm really passionate about. Thank you. Any questions? I have a question. Yes. Which one was your favorite to like go through your whole like pre like pre production, production, post production? Like what was like your favorite what film yeah. that I did? Ooh, that's a good one. Um 
I would say that my favorite one that I got to go through was honestly probably the first film that I did, which was Nightmare Alley. Um, it was directed by one of my favorite directors of all time, so I was really excited to watch it. And it's overall just a really good movie. So it was fun to actually like do the research on it and you know in, during production talk about you know my favorite actors that are in it and my direct, one of the director who's one of my favorite directors of all time. Um, and then it was fun editing it too because um, I got to throw in cool pictures of you know the movie that I really enjoyed. So there's a lot of movies that I enjoyed and then you know made the videos about. But it was more fun when you're like you have one movie that you're like, I love this movie. This was one of my favorite movies of all time. So probably, probably honestly my first one, even though it took me the very longest. <laughs> yes. Um, so my question is, what was your biggest takeaway or lesson learned from doing post-production? My biggest takeaway from post-production would probably be that I need to be more patient with myself, and I need to um, really put in the time for post-production because I've, I've really learned that it takes a, a long time to do something like this, and it's not just like click a couple buttons and then all of a sudden you come out with you know something really you know well done and cool looking. Um, it's definitely something you have to give you have to give it time you have to set aside the time it deserves, basically. And so that's what I learned. And I also learned I don't want to go into post-production, <laughs> even though I now have that skill, and I can put it on my resume that I can use Premiere Pro, um, I will stick to being a producer. <laughs> Any other questions? Um, what was your favorite part about this whole project? Like, all of it. Um, my favorite part about this whole project was honestly just the creation of it and getting to, like I said, combine my three passions into one project. And, you know, like I said, Binge Ready Radio is like my baby. So it was cool to, you know, take it up another level and put in even more hard work that I've um, done over the past couple of years. So, yeah, and that's it. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> Woo! Yay.